Well, that's right. These suspects are considered very dangerous. As you said, almost all are wanted for murder and all are on the run out of the country, either in Mexico or in Central America. And that's why the FBI is asking for the public's help. You could call them the dirty dozen, 12 dangerous fugitives that are some of the most wanted in Southern California. I mean, they're dangerous no matter where they are. They're a continuing threat and danger to the you know, community. FBI Special Agent Scott Gariola has tracked the most violent criminals in the L.A. region for more than three decades. He says many escaped to Mexico hoping to blend in. The latest, Roman Serratos and Maricela Mercado. They're both suspects in the killing of Jeffrey Appel back in April. They escaped to Mexico and just last week, Gariola brought them back. He wants to get other people off the streets who have been wanted for years. Maybe get some locations, some new information. It'd be our version of cold cases. Manuel Virgin Galvez allegedly shot and killed teenager Ramiro Guardado back in 2005. It happened in front of the boy's home. At the time, the victim's aunt begged for help. So to you, the public, I am begging you to help us find this man that killed my little nephew. The victim in this case was a 15-year-old boy that was uh, painting a bicycle. And whether he's intended or not, you know, it's, it's not important, the fact that the 15-year-old lost his life. One of the older cases is Saul Aguilar, wanted in connection with the murder of his ex-girlfriend. It happened just before Christmas, 1997. I have the image of the, uh, the victim by the Christmas tree in her living room. It's, you know, ingrained in me. Um, I know this per I know somebody out there is going to see this photo and they're going to know where he is. He says tracking down fugitives in other countries is difficult, but there is a good working relationship with Mexican authorities who also want these criminals out of their country. We're fortunate to have a fantastic working relationship with the Mexican government, uh, the Mexican police at all different levels, the local level, the state police, the federal uh, police. So it's we're really fortunate in that regard. The problem is finding the information in a country as big as Mexico and trying to track them down. And that's why the FBI is asking for the public's help. Those are just a few of the fugitives. You can find more information if you go to our website at abc7.com. We have links there to the FBI's website. And remember, if you have any information, there is a reward for information that leads to the arrest of any of these people, and you can remain anonymous. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.